What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Titans franchise. Today we got a game against the Cincinnati Bengals. I know it's been kind of a while since we uh, have gotten an episode. Sorry, I've been kind of busy with school and stuff because it just started back up. But without further ado, let's just hop right into this one. So they're asking us how we feel because the team's sort of not played very good through three weeks. We're one one and one, and he want, we wanted to know how do you feel? Who who do you think this is on? And I think this has been on the quarterback so far. We we're gonna have three different quarterbacks through four weeks. As if you didn't see last week, Will Levis got hurt. So it it's just it's been rough, really rough. So not without really further ado, we're gonna play this game against the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals here who three and zero looking to be four and zero. Definitely going to be a challenge as they are six whole overalls higher than us. Going to be an interesting game. I think the defense has to play awesome and the offense just has to step up at least for this game. At least one good game from the offense because God has been so putrid. Jermaine Pratt, he's having a pretty good week last week. He had eight tackles. And Willis will be the starter here. He's getting another opportunity to prove himself. Henry and the offense, he's going to have to have a big game. It's just going to be a very big game overall for kind of everyone here on this Titans team. So the Bengals offense and the team ready to get started up here. Here in Tennessee. And Levis looking to lead the Titans to a crucial dub for the season to gain some momentum. It's going to be difficult against Joe Burrow. Burrow has taken his has taken the Bengals to the AFC Championship in back-to-back -back weeks. I mean, it, he's been fantastic, to put it lightly. He is one of the top three best quarterbacks in the league, easily, without a single doubt in my mind. So we're going to get this one underway here in the Music City, Nashville, Tennessee. All right, kickoff about to get underway right here, right now. Underway here, they're just going to take Bengals, they're just going to take this one into the back of the end zone for a touchback, and Burrow and this Cincinnati offense are going to come out on the field for the first time today, looking to strike first. Burrow's having a pretty good season so far, nine touchdowns, one interception, not nearly as many touchdowns as you'd hope, probably through three weeks, but I mean, I guess that's three a week, and only one interception, so he's been pretty good. So first and 10 here, up at the 25-yard line, and this one is picked off! Picked off on the first play of the game, it is Christian Fulton on the play! And so the Tennessee offense is going to get a chance to come here out here on the first drive of the game. First, second, and eight. They're going to get this one all the way over to Burks. Burks is going to get this one all the way down to the four-yard line. Everything is going right for Tennessee early here, and Henry! Punches this one into the back of the end zone for a touchdown, and the Titans will take the league early here. So now Bengals offense back out on the field, second and four. Burrow firing over the middle, picking up a big gain of about 25 yards up to the 46-yard line. First and ten, following play. Burrow is going to hand this one off the mix and mix him with room, picking up a first down. He's lit up on the play. And so now he's up here at the 32-yard line. First and ten here on the following play once again. Burrow in the shotgun. Searching under pressure. He's going to hit as he throws. And he's going to get this one to Irv Smith Jr. And he's lit up on the play. That's going to be uh, that's gonna be rough on the passer. And so they're going to add 15 extra yards onto that play. The Bengals driving now quickly. Oh, sorry. Only adding six extra yards. I guess it's different when you're in the red zone. So third and goal down here. The one yard line. Handoff. And he's going to get stuffed. Fullback. Getting stuffed on the play, and so now it's fourth and goal. Critical to convert here for the Bengals. Burrow has a wide open man. It's going to be the tight end, Juan Johnson, on the play. He's going to pick up a touchdown, and now we're tied back up. So first and ten. Now we need to see if this Titans offense can do something. As on play action, Willis throws a strike on the right side of the field for DeAndre Hopkins for a first down. Third and eight now. Willis in empty. Looking, firing this one down on the left sideline. Hopkins once again. Hopkins picking up back-to-back -back crucial first downs. But they're actually going to say he was out of bounds. We're going to challenge this call. And, I mean, I, I guess he was out of bounds. I, I disagree with the call. That would have been a big first down, but they disagree. And so now it's going to be first and ten Bengals. So the Bengals are going to get this one back. Burrow's going to get this one. And it's just misplayed by Sean Murphy bunting. Jamar Chase heading down the sideline. He's going to get this one all the way up to the 38-yard line. So now the Bengals are really gaining some momentum here. The Titans defense needs to get a stop as that will bring an end to this first quarter. It is 7-7. Bengals are with the ball right now. And they are driving up here at the 38-yard line. Burrow's going to take it. Burrow's going to get it in shotgun. Burrow looking. Delivers a strike right 
to his tight end. That's going to be Eric Smith Jr. I mean, that was just an absolute dime of a ball. Burrow was under pressure, and he just absolutely lofted that one up for a beautiful throw. So that's 3rd and 10, and this one's intercepted once again. It's Christian Fulton on the play. Fulton has green grass running down the sideline to the 50, to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, into the end zone for a Titans touchdown. Fulton with his second interception of the game, and the Titans are going to take the lead here in the second quarter. What a play by Christian Fulton. He is him. Second and five now for the Bengals. Burrow under pressure, and he's going to be sacked on the play. Big sack there by Harold Landry, the secondary, and the edge making plays. So now Burrow alone in the backfield, and empty, looking. He has all day. Burrow is going to fire this one over the middle of the field to Jamar Chase. That's going to take a, That's going to be Burrow playing awesome so far, and he's going to get this one once again. Burrow, nice throw over the middle once again. A quick throw, quick release. They are moving here up to the 31-yard line of the Titans. Uh, Burrow with it once again, throwing on the play. Missed play by Sean Murphy, bunting for the second time today. He's just getting absolutely cooked up by Jamar Chase, and Chase is going to pick up a first down here, and that'll bring us to the two-minute warning. Uh, Christian Fulton with an absolutely massive interception, but now the Bengals are driving. So it's going to be third and goal here, up at the four-yard line. Burrow is going to throw this one on the play, and that one is caught in the back of the end zone for a touchdown by Jamar Chase. And the Bengals are back on the board. Willis is going to take this one himself now. Willis has only gotten really like half a drive to play. Titans offense has barely been up. The defense has had to play practically the whole game. As on the play, streaking down the field is DeAndre Hopkins hooking up with his quarterback, Malik Willis. So now it's going to be third and four, following the big throw by Willis. Willis just makes probably the worst possible read there, and that one sails out of bounds. Chidobe Awuzie defending on the play. And so he's going to kick this one fourth and four. Kick is up, and it is good. And so the Titans are going to take the lead here before headed into halftime. So the Titans successfully tack on three there before the break. It is 17-14 Bengals. I'm going to be honest, the defense for the Titans has been absolutely amazing, but I am concerned heading into the second half because they have been on the ball basically the whole game, so it's going to be difficult for them. Let's get a little halftime report here in amongst, in amongst the league. The Steelers are leading, and so are the Vikings, and then headed here into Indianapolis. The Colts have a 14-7 lead, so pretty quick halftime show. I know, I'm sorry. I put it on 2.5 times speed. I, I don't know what I mean. I mean, Christian Fulton is just him. He's having a fantastic season and one of the best games I've ever seen played by a corner. Two interceptions in the first half. Fantastic. I mean, he's just been simply amazing. So Titans are going to get the ball headed um, here out of the gate. As Kyle Phillips is going to take this one out of the end zone. He's only going to get this one up to about the 23-yard line of Malik Willis. He's going to take it himself on the read option. Coming out here for the first play, and they're going to get three and out. Stuffed up by Chidobe Awuzie on the play. So the Titans will have to punt this one away. This one's going to be punted by, I mean, nice little punt there. and I, I No words, bro. They, they call this one defensive. They, they call it pass punt interference something, bro. How is that punting interference? How is that fair catch interference? What did he do to interfere with the punt? I don't know. Third and seven here for the Bengals, picking up a big first down. It's T. Higgins on the play. Um, I mean, nice catch there by T. Higgins. Higgins and Jamar Chase, a nice dynamic duo. So play action once again. Burrow under pressure. He is sacked immediately on the play. It is David Autry who got who got re-signed pretty recently, actually. So now nice, good punt here, looks like, on fourth and 15. And what a punt. Get it down to the three-yard line. So it's going to be... Fourth and it's gonna be third and nine here, and he's just gonna check this one down over to DeAndre Hopkins. Hopkins is only gonna gain about seven on the play. And on the play, Christian Fulton got hurt. He got hurt, bro. And so Fulton's gonna have to come out of the game, and they're gonna pick up another big first down. Fulton got hurt on the previous play. It's gonna be a quick quarter. And he's gonna have to come out of this game. Fulton was having a fantastic game until he had to come out. Really disappointing stuff. Really sad. Frustrating for this Titans defense who is already probably pretty drained after playing this much. So play action. First play of the fourth quarter. Over Chase. Chase with room. Breaking tackles down to the one-yard line. Jamar Chase on the play. He's having a fantastic game. First and goal. Handoff. Mixon. Mixon Schulman is Dixon in the end zone for a touchdown. And the Bengals are going to have to take the lead back here. 
So Willis, who struggled in this second half, is going to get this one to Kyle Phillips up the middle of the field with a big gain of about 25 yards up to the 47-yard line. So first and 10 up at the 42 now. A little check down here over to Tajay Spears. Spears has not been very involved in the offense up to this point in the season. He had a good preseason, and I, I mean, he, he's been there at points. Willis is going to take it himself here. Willis breaking tackles, juking out defenders. And that'll take us down to the two-minute warning. So only a minute and 29 seconds remaining in the game. Third and 10. Willis, with time, looking, makes possibly the worst possible read there. And that'll make it 4th and 10. The Titans have to go for it to win this ball game. 4th and 10. Play action. Willis looking. Downfield. Targeting. Targeting Oconquo and he drops it. Oconquo drops the ball. So the Bengals have to pick up a first down here if they want to win this game. 3rd and 6. They get the ball back. Looking for Jamar Chase. No, it's T. Higgins on the play. It doesn't matter who it is. All that matters is the Bengals. Win here in comeback fashion. Only seven points put up on entirely in the second half. A close one. A pretty thrilling ball game. An amazing defense in the first half by Christian Fulton. Two interceptions. And the defense and the offense just simply faltered in this one. We could never get the run game going. We could never get the pass game going. We never threw a touchdown. We never threw an interception. The defense was just too good by the Bengals. And our offense was too bad. And our defense was on the field pretty much the whole game. So there was only so much they could do. It's a disappointing way to end the game, but it's certainly a way that should be expected if you can't put up points on offense and you can't let your defense be rested. I would say Mo Will is disappointed today, and it's going to be difficult next week against the Colts. Tannehill would be coming back, but who knows what shape he'll be in. I mean, it'll be definitely an interesting game against the Colts against the rookie Anthony Richardson, and I'll see you then. I hope you all enjoyed very much. I'm, I'm sorry if I sound a little weird today. I'm still a little bit under the weather. And I'm sorry I haven't been uploading as consistently. School's been uh, kind of a lot recently. Uh, checking in the injury for Christian Fulton. He's only been out for like three weeks. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it all so much. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.